Hi, my name's Ted Richards. I'm Director of Business Development at Six Park. At Six Park, we provide investment management to clients all over Australia. Here are five biases that can influence our decision making when it comes to investing. Loss aversion describes how the, the power of the feeling when we lose something is twice as powerful as the feeling we get when we gain something. And this is important because we can be our own worst enemy when it comes to investing. Markets go up, markets go down, and we need to be aware of our emotions during those times. Confirmation bias describes how we can often put the conclusion first and search for all the evidence to support that conclusion and anything that differs from that conclusion will discount it. And this is prevalent in investing, even in politics. So often the best thing to do is actually seek out the information that you disagree with just to ensure that you're taking everything into account. Present bias describes how we might put more importance on benefits that may come right now as opposed to benefits that may come in the future. And to be fair, this, this makes sense on many levels, but where it doesn't is, and it can hold investors back, is when it comes to your retirement savings, those benefits that may come in decades far into the future. And we need to be aware of these biases that will influence our decision making when it comes to spending right money right now as opposed to putting money aside into an investment portfolio or putting money into your superannuation where the benefits won't be seen for a long period of time. Recency bias sounds very similar to present bias, but it's actually quite different. Recency bias describes how we'll put more emphasis and more importance on events that are happening right now as opposed to events that may have happened. An example of recency bias affecting investors recently is something like Bitcoin where investors were very attracted to investment returns over the last few weeks, some examples even over the last few days. Whereas a better approach may be to zoom out and actually look at how's this investment actually going over a larger period of time. Hindsight bias describes how we don't always remember the event exactly as it occurred. And we also often overestimated how we behaved in past events. For, so for example, when it comes to investing, the financial crisis of uh, 10 years ago, many investors, in fact, most investors were selling at the worst possible time. They were their own worst enemy. And if you ask them today how they behaved, they'll probably paint quite a nicer, a nicer picture. They may even say that they saw the buying opportunity that it was. So there's five biases that can influence your decision making when it comes to investors. And there's many other biases too. I encourage investors to look at the evidence when it comes to investing and decision making. One of the few things that you can control is the fees that you pay when it comes to investing. So I encourage investors to try and keep your fees as low as you can. I'm Mark, a publisher at Finder. Our YouTube channel, much like our website, has lots of free guides and resources to help you save money. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Find